Good evening, Rocket League fans. Welcome to Minor League and Double. There's still a big chance here for anyone to take this in regulation, and this is no, no, no. Ten seconds are gone in the ball. With both members of Orange out of net right now, towards the net. This is a need. New Eric puts it in. This game's not over yet. Bring out your predictions. Bring out your scores. Let's see where we go. Game seven. Winner moves on. Loser goes home. Fridge in position. Scores. Just an insane series. I just got the chat. I can feel my heart. I, it's just, it's so tit. What a series. Nine grueling weeks before now, and we are finally at week 10, where we start to gather some results for the rest of the division standings in an exciting MLD season number five. Welcome in everybody to Freestyle Friday on the MLD Network. My name is Curtis and we'll in the Picasters booth along with an intimate Jay and Jay. We got a double header with a couple of teams, a couple of teams trying to play spoiler and the Blizzard against the Fox is trying to stay alive. Yeah, surprise doubleheader, the Spartans and the Comets from the Storm Division, a game that means not a lot in the standing. Spartans already locking up the division title. The Comets out of the playoffs this season, but trying to keep the Spartans away from the number one seed in the Blue Conference. They don't think that's going to be much of a problem. The, the Ducks have that all but locked up. But the <laughs> task at hand, the task at hand here, the Blizzard need a 4-1 minimum in this set to stay alive in the wild card race. Not only that, they need results to go their way badly over the rest of the weekend here, but it starts with the fate in their hands. Two losses tonight, enough to ruin their hopes of a playoff berth in their expansion season. They got to take care of their business and then hope for a little bit of help the rest of the way. But the first thing first, they got to do what they have to do. And if they don't, well, then they can't. don't have anybody to blame but themselves. So we'll see what happens here. As the Foxes and the Blizzard, get set to do battle in a five game set that will determine the remainder of the season for the blizzard foxes already clinching their division last week so congrats to them should be a good one we've got the teams in we're just going to send the signals out to get them going as this freestyle friday gets underway we've got some giveaways coming up for crates guys keep in mind so just uh, take a look at chat and listen to an enemy jay he'll have all the details for you shortly as we have players in we are ready to go jay you ready i'm always ready yeah <laughs> let's do this Let's go. Game number one underway early as this is an immediate chance going towards the orange net as Kyle the Murphy tried to get it there. Blizzard on the attack to be off of the crossbar. Good opportunity there for Manatee. Could not put it home. 13 seconds in. This will go towards the side wall. Chance near the halfway line. Taken in. Vex wins the better of that exchange. It'll go back into his own end, though. Stumpinator puts us towards the side with a little bit of help from his Blizzard counterpart. This will go around the corner. Pop into the middle. Sent along. Kyle Murphy going to give chase in the offensive side. Vex towards it across goal mouth. And the Blizzard did not expect that. Otherwise, he could have paid dearly for that play. 4 and 15. Looking for a flick. Chance in front. And that is a save. Stumpinator with the opportunity. Blizzard come up and make a save. Scoreless here. We've played all, almost a full minute. A couple of good chances at either end. The Blues are early pressure. They came out right off the opening kickoff looking to try and drive that ball home. The Fox's defense holding up on the counterattack. Stumpinator looking for the dribble. Couldn't get it past Kyle the Murphy. Stayed scoreless here. But both these teams start to settle in in game one. And the Blizzard, you can tell their hearts are beating a little bit here. Everything is a little bit more timid, trying to make sure they don't make that crucial mistake to let a goal in. Seemingly a little bit more aggressive than they normally are. This will be in front. Kyle Murphy trying to slam it home. He will not. Back to Manatee. Manatee trying for the 50. That is going to ricochet back towards that blue net, giving chases. Kyle, he'll send that towards the corner, and he gets it away from danger as we put a minute and a half. Almost an open net there. Vex lurching back into frame really late there. Kyle very patient on that ball. Thought he might have had ball cam off the way he reacted to that one. But Stumpinator giving him a little bit too much room to make the save. And two minutes off the clock here. Not a lot of great chances for either team. Manatee trying to put this back in the corner. Blizzard trying to set up an offensive attack on the forecheck. It'll go back into their end. Kyle the Murphy tries to take possession. End up having to circle back for boost instead. That play will send it back across the halfway line. Manatee gives chase into the Fox's den. Out into the middle for Kyle the Murphy. Near post, that's gonna go off that post. 
creates an opportunity the other way. Vex with the pass ahead to Stumpinator, who makes it a 1-0 lead. Really unfortunate here as Vex actually posterized himself coming off the backboard. He reacts in time to get the save because Kyle doesn't put the shot on net. Disappointing from the Blizzard captain, Stumpinator upfield receives the pass from Vex. And that's the opening goal for the Foxes as the Blizzard, well, just kind of melted away on that one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> easy puns, easy puns. It only took him 10 weeks to start using that. one nothing in favor of the Foxes. This will go into the Blizzard corner. Chance for Kyle the Murphy to move it out. Tries to put that towards the near post. Back across. Kyle can't get contact on it. Manatee gives chase. Stumpinator will put this into the middle. Vex is up. He decides against traveling upwards for this ball, and he will leave it. Towards that net, it goes right off the side panel of Vex. Manatee goes and makes sure he gets a bump on Vex before he can turn back into the ball. Stumpinator still puts that back towards the blizzard end. It'll ricochet back to the halfway line. Coming in, Vex. Vex going to put this across, then he will give chase to his own play. Waits patiently for Kyle Murphy to attempt contact. Missed. Off the back, chance in front. That's an opportunity for Stumpinator, but it goes back the other way to the Foxes. Net Manatee has tied the game. First time shot between Vex and Stumpinator here. Manatee actually reads it well, intercepts it, dunks in the next week. Wide open as Vex had made the initial pass. It's not a three-person game, it's two. And Manatee finds the open net to tie it up. Yeah, no third rotation to save that one as we are even at one apiece. Low scoring first game in this series. This is a play towards the near post. Chance for Stumpinator. It's going to go off that post and away. Vex is going to slow it down. Try to pinch it towards the front, but instead it goes back the other way. Stumpinator try to pass off the back wall for Vex, and it will get knocked aside. Down to about 80 seconds left in game one. Popped out for Kyle. Need to be careful with this Vex. He will travel off the back, boosts into it, keeps it towards the side, pinches it back towards his own corner, though. This will go near side. Chance for the Blizzard to set up. Stumpinator leaves it for Vex. Vex with the initial clear, and Kyle will give chase, but loses possession as he'll give it right back. Down to 60 seconds left. Even game so far. Can't choose a winner in game one. Good boost grab by Manatee there. Vex had used all of his boost recovering that ball, trying to get it out to midfield. The Stumpinator went across, grabbed the corner, and then the grab by Manatee left Vex out of options, and they still face pressure here in the defensive end. Oh, and a great play on the interrupt from Manatee. Gives them the lead. Blizzard needed that. It's 2-1. Not a lot of boost for anybody here. Kyle the Murphy, I think. Oh, it was actually Manatee that grabbed that corner as it spawned. Left Vex and Stumpinator completely out of boost, and Manatee finds a little seam at that near post. Just tips it past Stumpinator before he can react in time. That's a late lead for the Blizzard. Really good fight back here in game one. Blizzard trying to stay alive. Keep that Cinderella story going. Foxes don't really care about their Cinderella story, but at this point, they are down. Therefore, they need to have some work to do. Trying to pinch it up against the side is Vex. He will lose the ball to Manatee. Manatee puts it in front, looking for Kyle and a good play by Stumpinator to take it away from the goal line. Manatee tries to slow it down. That 50 ball will send it towards the side wall. It rolls up the side towards the ceiling. Vex going to put this up off a backflip. Looking towards mid. Chance at the Fox's net. Good save from Vex. They need to get it away from their net and back towards the other one. Giving chase on the ramp. It's going to be Stumpinator up that side. He's got a little bit of space to work with. Zero seconds on the clock and a great job as the Blizzard will knock it to the floor. One game in hand for the Blizzard, one they desperately needed. Three left minimum to go for the Blizzard. They need all five to have the best chances at that wildcard spot because of how much help they need in the standings right now. They are the almost the furthest back. The Hawks actually one game behind them. And I know the Hawks are going to be looking at that result going, we didn't need that. Yep. We really didn't need that. <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell you what, the Blizzard, for you know the, the pressures on them, they played a very well-rounded game in that game one. That's what they need to continue to do. And they let the Foxes make their own mistakes. Uh, I think we might have to reset the server here. It looks like it's doing that thing where one person doesn't connect in between rounds here. Uh, okay. We've lost something. Who joined it? Did he go? Did he... Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Everybody's we in. in. Excellent. Woo! Close one. Close one, close one, close one. Chat disabled for one second. We are underway for game number two. Immediate chance at the Fox's net. The flick over one. Can't angle it towards that frame. 
in is Manatee. Putting it back to Murphy. That is going to go towards the, the Blizzard net. Can't miss those. Vex does. And they miss an opportunity to take the lead 1-0 early. It remains scoreless instead as we've played about 20, 20 seconds so far. Vex, two kicks at the can. Stumpinator on the follow-up. Another kick at the can. All of them wide or high. Big mistakes from the Foxes here as they don't settle down early. And Vex Manatee, big save. That one was labeled for the top 90. Absolutely it was. It'll be in the Blizzard corner, popping out away from the post. Going for this, Kyle the Murphy, leaving it for Manatee. Manatee goes off the nose into the Fox's end. Answered back by Stumpinator. Putting it around that boost pad. They're going to battle for possession around that boost orb. In that Fox's corner, good 50 balls. Going to put it off the ceiling. Kyle the Murphy does rotate in, but he can't get enough height. Puts it off the nose to the ceiling. Manatee will put it around. They are setting up. They're creating pressure on this Foxes team, and the Foxes do respond well defensively here as they take away the scoring opportunity. It remains scoreless with a minute 18 gone. Chances back and forth at either net here, none of them finding a way past as the Blizzard ramping up that pressure, getting the boost management that they need right now. The Foxes look a little bit lost when they can't hit that 100 boost in the corner. They don't really have pathing that helps them out with their rotations as they go over the pennies. And with the Blizzard opportunistically grabbing those hundreds at every chance they get, it's really leaving the Foxes struggling to get their rhythm. This is going to go into the defensive end for the Blizzard. They got to give chase. They will. Winning that battle is going to be Manatee initially. It goes in front of that Blizzard net anyway with a little bit of persistence by Stumpinator. Vex is going to turn in off the back. Has Stumpinator lurking and a good defensive play to interrupt the pass by Kyle the Murphy. He will move it out and then pay dearly for his grand transgressions. He'll have to wait three seconds to play again. Close one there. Manatee almost splitting the Foxes D in rotation. Unfortunately for him, just enough recovery from the defense. I believe it was Vex on the goal line. And Stumpinator in transition. These teams are trading shots and saves back and forth. Halftime here still scoreless, making a really low scoring series. Oh, this could be an opportunity for Kyle, but he cannot get angled at the ball. Really good dribble attempt by his teammate is going to go by the wayside as Manatee will take possession in his own end. Over the halfway line. Taking this. Kyle. Not getting it past Stumpinator. Manatee doesn't care. Towards the net. Far side. They need it. They got it. 2-10 left. It's a 1-0 Blizzard lead. Perfect placement from Manatee here. Picks off the play by Stumpinator there as he doesn't get a great contact on the ball. Leaves it hanging over the midfield line. And Manatee swoops in on rotation. Snipes the far post. 1-0 Blizzard. They needed that goal. 130 seconds left in this game. Blizzard have done what they needed to. Now they need to play some defense and maybe go for one more. This will be in the offensive corner. It goes off the back for Manatee. Kyle is lurking. Going to try to take a dive at it. He will miss the opportunity. Vex knocks it away. Blizzard still have possession. The flick over one. Far side. Off the post. Manatee trying to get there. He cannot slam it home. This will be just above frame. Manatee still there. Wait, what? Vex and Stompinator lose it. It's on the goal line. Scores. The Blizzard take advantage of a Fox's panic on the goal line. It's 2-0. I thought for sure that that play was labeled for Kyle to rotate in. I went to his camera there. Manatee instead with 11 boost goes up, tips it down off the crossbar and the post to himself, recovers and puts it in with the bike. Unreal by the Blizzard. Their season on the line and they come up with a play like that to make it a 2-0 lead. They're playing like a team who deserves it. This will be up the back wall chance for Manatee. Manatee is going to lose this ball. Stumpinator going to put it in front of that Blizzard net. Vex has to turn back, point it at his own net, but makes the play to keep it in the offensive zone. Foxes need to regroup here. They are losing their composure. Kyle loses that 50. Vex has an opportunity. Off the nose. Rolls it towards the goal line, and that's a one-goal lead. Really solid control by Vex here. Wins this 50 solid against the plank of Kyle DeMurphy. Then this little catch, just nosing that forward. Well out of reach of Manatee. Nothing that the Blizzard can do. And that's a goal the Foxes desperately needed there. They cut the lead to one. Time to work with here. They have to keep this momentum going forward. Plenty of time. It also is a harsh reminder to the Blizzard of exactly who they're playing. It is their division leader. Wait, what? Go towards the goal line and Manatee finds the angle. 3-1 on a very unfortunate bounce. Dropping out the calculated here. Just hits that sweet spot of that diagonal part of the boards. They're not a perfect curve. 
these boards. They have slope and angles to them, and you hit them just right. It'll stay going straight towards the net. It catches both the Foxes out of position in the corner, and that restores the two-goal lead. 102 left. That's going to go in front. Foxes cannot put it home. Stumpinator will be regretting that mistake. Vex is going to try to correct it. Near side, looking for Stumpinator and a really good defensive play by Manatee. He's going to knock that away. 49 seconds left. Chance for Vex. Vex puts it on the ground. Really easy reaction time for Manatee as he'll double back for boost. That's a that's one off of Kyle. Back to Manatee. Manatee up the side. Going to boost into it. Looking near side. And Vex with a really good save. Will take it towards the opposite perimeter wall. 27 seconds left. In front of that Fox's net is Vex. Needs to do something with it. Going to try to slow it down. Has the flick. Far side scores. 3-2. 18 seconds left. The Foxes have a little bit of time. Vex without ball cam on for that first part there just brings it under control doesn't actually see manatees backwards but times it perfectly gets it around the left side of manatee who has to take a guess at which way he needs to flip to play that defensively and vex just turns him inside out 3-2 game foxes have a little bit of time to work with they have boost in their own end vex is going to take control looking across has Stumpinator far side, really good interrupt from Manatee. It goes back into the middle. Blizzard looking for a great interrupt. It goes up the sidewall, great way to burn time. They need to keep it in the air if they have a chance. There's the first bounce. Vex, down to Stumpinator, can't control it. Blizzard have two wins in hand in this series. They are two wins away from keeping their dream of all alive. I mean, the only way that they can pull it off is through the back door, and they need some help opening it up. But how about it? They've got two on the hop, Curtis. They need two more minimum to stay alive in the mathematics for it. But how about five? They're playing like they want it. Every opportunity they're getting right now is pulling itself together for them. And the Foxes just don't have an answer. Yeah, you're exactly right. Blizzard find themselves in the perfect spot. They're playing. They have a nice mix of aggression and defensive ability. Manatee is playing very, very well right now. A nice rounded game. I can't really pinpoint an exact mistake that he has made. And it's really, really helped this Blizzard team be very consistent in these first two games. Conversely, I think the Foxes need to be a little bit smarter about picking up the boost pads as they go around, trying to find a way to keep those tanks up and in in reserve because a number of times you go onto their cameras and they're struggling without boost they are just fading down the stretch right now as they try to find a way back in the series foxes are going to indeed try to sniff out a way to get back in this contest they are the division winners as of today or as of last week they need to start playing like it vex is going to try to read this leaves it for stumpinator blizzard have it in the offensive end Manatee up the side, really good interrupt as it will go off the back. Chance in front, and that is Kyle DeMurphy, who does not have great contact. He will win that 50 exchange, though, back towards the Fox's den. In the corner. 4 and 22 left. Stumpinator will give this up to Vex. It goes towards the side, puts it towards the middle, up in the air. Trying to slow it down. It'll go back towards the halfway line. Stumpinator's there to keep it. At least for the moment. Vex is rotating back. He's going to have to be careful here. And it put a really good job by Stumpinator to get in front of that ball and not let it get directed on net. We've played a minute. Scoreless in game three. Again, still seeing the Foxes. Number of occasions where they have an opportunity to go and grab boost. Oh, oh. Big miss by Kyle. Saved by Manatee as he bails his captain out on that one. But again, just the number of times where you you go onto Stumpinator's camera and he's going for an empty boost pad that hasn't spawned yet. They prioritize those hundreds so much right now that they're being left so adrift when they can't find one. Boxes slow it down. They're going to both rotate back for boost. Stumpinator then gives it a look in the offensive corner. Good dribble play from Manatee. As it slowed down, looking for the flick. Stumpinator's got to be careful. He got the touch away from the goal line. It is still there as Manatee. In comes Kyle but it will go for not as it remains scoreless. Foxes looking to put one off. The nose is Stumpinator. It goes back towards the side, taken away by Manatee. Vex is there. Knocks that away. Stumpinator will look as this goes above his head near side. Chance in front. Really good play in front by Manatee, and he will get saved by Stumpinator. Comes across goal mouth and makes a great, great save, saving the Foxes 
from a one goal deficit. Yeah, but I feel like if Kyle the Murphy had just chased that ball down after he slams it on the pinch, using the plank out of that corner, you see Stumpinator actually bobble that one, and if Kyle chases that down himself, has a tap in on the goal line, instead they let the Foxes recover, we still stay, stay scoreless with about half this game gone. This will be up in the air for Stumpinator. Stumpinator will miss on the attempt to follow up. Manatee is there looking near side. It bounces off the top of Vex on a flip. Vex is still there. Has the shot, but it goes well far side and wide. 2.17 left as we've gone past halftime. In game number three, chance for Stumpinator, but he cannot get contact on the ball. Had a little bit of an inaccurate dive there. Vex keeps it in. And Manatee does a really good job to knock that well away from his own goal line, and he will set up the offense. Kyle, in his rush to get back in the net, and he's done this a couple of times where he speeds through the net, into the back of it, off the the in, you know the, the, the inside roof of the net, and recovers really awkwardly. That tendency to do that almost cost him there because he kind of uh, he miscontrolled his recovery, and Manatee dropped him a pass expecting a snap clear, and instead Stumpinator missed an easy goal as he just completely fluffed the shot. Down to 90 seconds left, just about still scoreless in Game 3. Both teams threatening. That's goal line scores. Manatee puts it in far side. That one hit the angle again. That was going in regardless. Really good angle from Kyle DeMurphy. You see it catch Vex trying to rotate back in. Think it might have been posted in anyway. Manatee says, I don't care. We need these goals. Taps it in. Minute 30 gone. It's a 1-0 lead for the Blizzard as the Foxes finally break down in defense. 85 seconds away the Blizzard are from taking a 3-0 lead in a series they absolutely must have. This will be out of the corner. Trying to put something towards that Blizzard net is Stumpinator. Vex will double back. Travel across. Does not get there first. Manatee puts us up the ramp. He is up. Trying to tap it off the wheels. It goes down into the middle. Kyle the Murphy can't get contact. Vex is going to put this on the 50 towards the side. And this will go towards the halfway stripe. Looking Stumpinator. Stumpinator puts it over Kyle the Murphy. Can't get it over Manatee. And it's a Manatee versus an empty net. Has a little bit of time. Trying to angle this. Trying to find the goal line. But Vex comes in and saves the Foxes with 42 seconds to go. Ran out of boost. Trying to catch up to that ball after he won the challenge there. But before that, both Foxes rotate back looking for boost. And Kyle the Murphy doing the same thing. Left that ball hanging way too long. That's why he gets beat on the challenge once he finally decides to go for it. Requires his teammate to bail him out one more time on the defense event. 25 left in this game. Manatee will wait. Try to put this towards the offensive net. Fox is having problems getting out of their own end consistently. Manatee is giving them all sorts of problems on the forecheck. Up is Stumpinator. Stumpinator puts it in his own corner. Fox is need to get something with five seconds left. They will have possession for the moment. Vex is going to turn into this. Takes control towards the net, and he had the shot, but it was not in time, and the Blizzard survived. Game three, they take a 3 nothing lead in the series. And Vex tells you everything you need to know. That ball hitting the ground on the goal line, he couldn't believe it in the chat, but I saw it, you saw it. It was on the line, hit the ground. Yep. without going in and you and I both know we've seen it before all the way up to the RLCS level it has to stay in the air it has to cross that line yep before it'll be counted but man did they and give you it take everything. a look at the VOD it, it's exi that's exactly what it was it was on the line but it definitely no doubt hit ground first and that is the determining factor before it explodes in that net and the foxes are in a hole pun not intended but I'll take it anyway Blizzard are one win away from keeping their hopes alive for a season five playoff berth. The Foxes are not in a good spot. They have played pr fairly well defensively, no more than three goals a game for their opponents in this series. And that game was a real big testament to defensive ability on both sides. And unfortunately, the, oh. uh, the Fox is not getting back into the lobby in time. Again, it's having problems here. I haven't had any notice to, to restart the lobby here. So, I, as far as I can tell, it's just play on right now. Stumbinator came in, reacted a little late to that one because he came in right as the timer hit one. And unfortunately, the faceoff going straight in the Blizzard's favor lofted right at the net, man. Okay, well, kickoff goal. Blizzard, they are trying to make this a 4 0 lead. 1 0 at the moment as Stumpinator will get a touch towards the halfway line. 
Waits on the wall, trying to get a read. Both members of the Blizzard are up for this. One that doubles back. Manatee will take that one away. Give it into Stumpinator, who's waiting back on the goal line. He'll make a save. 30 seconds in. Game four. Manatee being careful with it. He will put it towards the side. Trying to slow it down. Take control. He puts it a little bit too far away from him. Vex gets around one. The dribble scores! Oh, what a play by Vex! The individual effort ties the game. Big mistake here from Kyle. You see him start to go out and hesitate. And in that time, Vex gets control, turns Manatee inside out. Kyle comes out to challenge, but it's late. And Vex rolls it in bottom corner. That really breaks down, though, when Manatee puts the ball laterally off the boards and Kyle just hesitates. If he charges that down, it's a clear all day, every day. But that hesitation costs him the goal and we have an even game again after a great great play by vex to make it one apiece fox is trying to end the blizzard's dreams of a season five playoff berth tie game in game four if the foxes get two wins in a row they will have done just that vex will take control slows it down i think he's getting sufficiently warm at this point he'll get it up and around manatee give it up to stumpinator stumpinator and vex work on keeping it in the offensive end has the angle goes off the post and away as it'll knock towards the opposite side stumpinator has to react to that it's left for kyle the murphy murphy will send this deep and immediately return to sender by vex corner wall stumpinator trying manatee says no it'll go back across wall to wall side to side Puts it in the air, does Vex. That one does have the angle to drop, but a really good save by Manatee. He's going to take that one away. Foxes have turned a corner offensively. They are putting on the pressure in this blizzard end. The one thing, though, that they're not really getting right now is quality chances. They're just lunging at the ball a little bit, pulling themselves out of position as they go to try and force the play to happen. And the blizzard, they're having to make good saves, but they get the ball away easily afterwards, and that's a big reason why there aren't second, third, fourth opportunities to break a team down. Manatee puts this one deep. Giving it a look. Has the angle. Near side scores! Got the post to roll. 2-1 Blizzard with 2.41 to go. Dodges the demo from Stumpinator, then just picks this ball off as Vex, unfortunately, lofts it into the corner. Stumpinator really aggressively coming back the same side as the ball, chasing down Manatee, doesn't get him, and then they end up out of position in the corner, and Manatee picks the angle. Towards the sidewall as we approach halftime in game four. Blizzard are holding up their end of the bargain at the moment. They're going to need some standings help, no doubt about that, but they have done very, very well this evening. Manatee puts this one in front, looking far side for Kyle the Murphy. It'll go well wide of that right post. Waiting on the goal line of Stumpinator. He needs a follow-up attempt. Kyle the Murphy there first. Manatee finds the angle, keeps it in the corner. Vex taking his time, has the dribble away from his goal line. Stumpinator needs contact. He will take it away. That's a runner towards the empty net. Foxes tie the game. Deuces wild, two minutes left. The problem when you get that kind of offensive pressure and you lose a 50 like that, it goes towards the net, but there's no power on that ball, so it stays low. It's easy for Stumpinator to clear. Just has to pick that up, make sure he gets it past Kyle on the challenge and a wide open blue net to drive that into. 2-2. Two -two. Stressful game four. No doubt about that. 2-2 two, two game. Waiting for the other team to make mistakes and then capitalizing has been in the name of this series. Vex and Manatee locked in a gridlock in front of the orange net. Kyle the Murphy and Stumpinator fighting in the corner. This will be sent deep by Vex, only for Manatee to catch it, put it towards the sidewall. Looking for a dribble play. Good challenge by Stumpinator as he's waiting there. Good bump on Manatee as well. We'll send this into the offensive end. Looking near side, Stumpinator off to the side wall. As we have about 90 seconds left. That's towards the empty Blizzard net. Stumpinator puts it in. Foxes have their first lead in a while. It is 3-2. Vex bumping Manatee backwards. Kyle the Murphy also out of position as he made the initial play and got picked off at the sideboards there. Again, open net for the Blizzard. That's not the kind of defense you want when you're chasing down a 4-1 or a 5-0. They've got to come back. They've got to score at least two goals now to try and take this fourth game and secure themselves a chance at the wildcard spot. This will shave the ceiling, go into the Blizzard end. Kyle the Murphy has good contact. He'll be sending it deep into Fox's territory for Vex. Vex has the angle, puts that one on frame, and Manatee with a really good aerial save. 
towards net anyway, and he comes back, makes a beautiful recovery save again, keeps it at a 3-2 deficit with a minute to go. A couple of acrobatic heroics out of Manatee there, needed those saves to come off for him here. They have to turn this around into offense, though, and the Foxes, they oh. fall vulnerable. Oh. oh, Kyle just couldn't keep the handle on that one. Very, very close. Had the chance to turn the angle, was unable to do so. Remains a 3-2 lead. 39 to go. Chance in front. Manatee's going to lose the handle. Vex with a runner the other way. That's an empty net. Can't miss those. He will not. 4-2 lead. Then the Foxes may have very well clinched game four. You see both blue bodies fly past the monitor there as Stumpinator getting the challenge. I don't think Manatee read that ball staying low. Really kind of pre-jumped at that one, expecting it to go up. It wasn't really for style points. He just read the bounce wrong. Kyle the Murphy, though, on the heavy commit, chasing that goal down is really what killed them on that play. That's in front. Vex puts that one down right at Manatee. 22 seconds on the clock. Fox is looking to possibly get one more. They are doing a really good job of ball control right now, taking the, the uh, pace of play to the blizzard. And the Blizzard have not had a good answer in this game four. Going off the back. Chance in front. This will not get to frame. And the Blizzard are going to lose game four. They are up 3-1 in this series. This game five is going to turn into an absolute must-have. Fox is going to tap it back and forth, play a little bit of volleyball. It'll finally touch. And this is do or die for the Blizzard in season five. And it's about what you expected from it. And I, I, I just got that feeling that a little bit of tilt had came into the Foxes to start that one off. But then they, they harnessed that. They were like, you know what? We need to take this one. And they really started taking the game to the Blizzard. That fourth win in a best of seven in a must win when you need that game to get in. Such a hard game to get in because you have so much pressure in the back of your mind just mounting on you at that point. Yeah, absolutely. And the Blizzard, it's down to a five-minute period. They need to put more goals in than the Foxes, and their playoff dreams will stay alive. They lose this game. Their Season 5 hopes for a playoff berth are dashed, and the Foxes have officially played spoiler to their division rival. We are ready to go. Arctic Division on full Arctic Blast in game number five. One the Blizzard need, one the Foxes don't want to give. We are scoreless with five minutes, 300 seconds. On the clock, and we are a go. Stumpinator has an open net to shoot at Manatee, traveling back towards his own post. Will make Wait. the save happen. Stumpinator changing things around. Yeah, he's in a gizmo with a cob hat. Uh, yeah, I'd say he's changing things around. Chance in front, they score. Vex is going to put the Foxes ahead by one with 436 left. Really good turn by Vex. Gets both of the Blizzard chasing the ball in one motion. I talk about it a lot. You can't commit that kind of resources to that ball, especially when you need a win in the series. They give up the opening goal, and they have to settle down. They need this one to stay alive. Vex going to try to keep the offense going for the Foxes. Interesting choice of cars <laughs> as he mo as moving into the Gizmo. As you pointed out, Stumpinator, very, very odd choice with the with a playoff berth for the Blizzard on the line, trying to turn it. Nearly had that one done, but uh, any any real tactical advantage here to going to the Gizmo? I mean, other than maybe familiarity, if he plays with it a decent amount. Big fat hitbox. Yeah, fair. Same reason people drive them Burke for the most part. Same reason how that hitbox got demoed from behind there. A lot yep. more area to hit when you're trying to chase somebody down for that demo. But there was a meme on Twitter between these teams a little while ago. about uh, Something about the gizmo and not being able to stop it. We'll see if that holds up. Now, I do have a little bit of intel in chat. Not sure if it is indeed correct, but apparently he's done this on, on accident before. Not sure if he has his preset set in the matchup settings between games. That could, oh, that could go towards the Fox's net. In front is Kyle the Murphy. He will put it home. Blizzard get the tying goal they need with 322 left. That's the perfect place to put that ball when you're transitioning, and the offensive team puts it right in front of your net. Does a great job reading the play from Vex defensively. Did a really good job, Vex, trying to save that one. But Kyle the Murphy with that flat mantis planks it home and ties the game at one. Critical goal. Yeah, minute 40 to go. 
Foxes and that big old hitbox from Stump Eater can't make contact on that on the sidewall. Manatee will give it a look. Looking to put it into the middle. Has far side. Murphy. No, he cannot put it home. And a good boost grab by Manatee is going to starve the Foxes out of it in their own end. Shot on net. Good stop off the nose well into the air as Kyle the Murphy will wait for his counterpart, Manatee, to try to get something into the corner. Manatee has to make a touch. That's a dangerous place to put that. Needing a shot towards the middle. Stumpinator far side. That's going to go wide as well. And 242 left. We are looking at a 1-1 game in a crucial game five. Now we want to lose the ball from Manatee. And luckily, his teammate and captain bailing him out there. Drops it in. Whoa! Can't cut it under the bar. Close from Kyle to Murphy. The, probably the flashiest play we've seen him do in a while. Oh, back the other way. The Foxes with a chance as Manatee gets beat. This is a great defensive clear, though, by Manatee. He's able to recover it, get it away from the crossbar. Back the other way it comes. Towards the halfway line, Manatee trying to take possession, slow it down a bit. He is taken advantage of by Stumpinator. Puts it back out into the middle. Cal Murphy lurking back in the goal line. Blizzard moving it out. There's a dribble around one. Trying to get around two and a good piece of challenge by Vex. He's going to send this towards the side wall. In front, really good dunk there by Kyle the Murphy. All for not in this case. Manatee out of the corner wall. Looking in front. Back to the side again. Vex gets around one, but not for long as Manatee forces a 50. Sends it wall to wall, side to side. A minute and 36 seconds to go. Oh, Blizzard that's on looking that. for the empty net. No, oh, and Vex comes across goal mouth to make a save. Still dangerous. Vex is going to miss contact. Needing something on it with Stumpinator. He gets what he needs. This will be off of the ceiling. Chance in front for Stumpinator. Has the angle with the gizmo. The bounce. It goes off the post. Good job coming back from Manatee to take that one away. Just enough because Kyle again going straight back in the net. Took himself out of position to try and make that save. Not having any real confidence with attacking the ball. Coming back towards his own backboard. One of the skills he might need to work on to improve, especially if they want to make a deep playoff run, but it'll work out for now. Manatee, the defensive heroics, we stay tied at one. Stumpinator puts this around, looking for a second tap. It goes in front for Kyle the Murphy. Murphy will put it in his own corner for Manatee. Manatee tries to dribble around Vex. Tries to find the angle. He will have it for the moment, but gets turned inside out by Vex. He will still have possession, though, as he follows it up. Around the corner, here comes Kyle the Murphy. Manatee puts it off the top of his car. Off the sidewall. Coming in is Vex. Vex towards the middle. He'll actually ricochet that towards the sidewall for Manatee. Good pinch from Manatee with 19 seconds to go. Blizzard looking for heroics. The pre-jump. And Manatee cannot put it home in between two. Stumpinator is going to try to send the Blizzard home packing. Chance for Manatee. Stumpinator, good job controlling it towards the corner. Misses the boost. Think about that for a moment. That'll go towards the ground. OT with the Blizzard season on the line. Here we go. Mistakes on the sidewall. Blizzard trying to take possession. This will go towards the side. Shave the, shave the sidewall. Vex is there. Looking into the middle. Manatee in front. Kyle the Murphy needs contact. He'll put it up the sidewall. Stumpinator off the back. Up through the air. That's going to go just south of the ceiling. Vex puts it in the air. Double commit. Be careful there. Stump Stumpinator cannot get there in time to make them pay. Vex is going to try to pinch this into the middle. Failed to do so. This is an opportunity, but Stumpinator nowhere to be found. Manatee towards the side. 47 seconds into OT. Team's playing very, very timid on both sides. No real mistakes as of yet. Other than the first couple ones. There's oh, a big there one is. there! Manatee keeps them alive! Double commit on the back wall, and they will pay dearly talking about the Foxes. Not even a double commit. An ill-advised play as Vex drops it straight down in front. Manatee picks it off into an open net. The Blizzard for the Foxes won. They need help on Sunday, but oh. they're alive and in with a shout. You, you could feel them gripping their controllers as that one went in front of their own net. Talking about the Foxes, disappointment on their faces, losing 4-1 to a division rival to keep their division rivals' playoff hopes. I'll be them slim, still alive. Huge games for the Blizzard.
Yeah, they came in with an absolute tear. They wanted that series. They took that series. They yes, took they did. three. It took them another game to do it in the end, to get that fourth one, but they did it. And, you know, you can see <laughs> Blizzard Coach Duality in the chat with the 111-bit cheer. You know, he, he knows full well what that one means. But they still need help from the rest of the Blue Conference. Oh, for sure. They need wins out of the teams already leading the chase the sharks need to smack the lightning down the jets are going to have to drop a number of games to the aviators for them to stay alive but they're in it they've done their part we'll see what the rest of the league has in store for them yeah that's exactly it they've done their doing they've done everything that they need to do now they just need to do some scoreboard watching figure out exactly what the other teams do to figure out if they have the postseason to look forward to but great job by the Blizzard coming out and smacking around the Foxes a bit. Disappointing showing for the Foxes. Not the kind of momentum you want to carry into the playoffs at all. And we'll see if they can recover going forward. Uh, especially with such a tough conference like the Blue Conference there. Any little stumble right now. And if you draw a bad seed in that first round, the the odds of having a really tough matchup right now. Uh, I think the Foxes, as it stands, will probably play the winner of the Storm Division, which should be the Spartans. Uh, although the last match day still being able to shake them th some things out. But hey, let's give away some crates, throw it over to break, and then when we come back, we'll get the Spartans and the Comets on here. Last call for tickets, guys, if you don't already have your subscription and your points in chat, make sure that you check your points. Make sure that you guys buy your tickets, exclamation tickets, either one, two, three, four, or five. Cost you 15 tickets per or 15 points per ticket to get you in here. I'll just quickly check the for those scoring at home, that'd be 75 tickets for a five or five, 75 loaves for five tickets. Yeah, so. there you go. There's a yeah, lot of tickets going around. Man. There was a lot of people watching the the RLCS qualifiers, which were uh, were a fun time. We didn't give away anything yeah. because we didn't have stuff to give away. Manatee, if you want to buy two more, just just do tickets two. You already have three, bud. Easy fix. Yeah. Easy fix. The way yeah, it works is if fun. you type if you type three originally, you only have two more left you can buy. It's it's caster math, guys. Caster man. <laughs> All right, guys. Absolute last call here. We're going to click this one away in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Cool. Ray gets more crates as if Ray needed more <laughs> crates. Old man uh, Ray puts more crates in his attic. Okay. All right, Ray. We'll trade them to you at some point here. We're going to open up one more. We've got tons of crates to give away, so don't worry, guys. More chances to go and spend your tickets on our crate giveaways. But we're we really should do an emote that's rigged. Hmm. You know, we were looking for new new emote ideas in chat earlier today. You know what? We'll, we'll throw that one on the board here. But we're going to throw it over to a break here. When we come back, the Spartans <laughs> and the comments, as the Spartans try to up the win count and lock up a better seed in the Blue Conference playoffs, you're watching MLD Freestyle Friday night here on the MLD Network.